Okay, uh, I try and get another video out today on the other YouTube channel. Uh, EM Network means Exploratory Minds Network. Uh, just needed to call it something else, really, other than Exploratory Minds Project, which is the other YouTube channel. Um, no country has put more money into creating a vaccine for the pandemic uh, problem than the UK and other countries have put a lot more money into medication and later on they started to put more emphasis on vaccines uh, early on uh, I th don't know if we were the first the first people first country to do it but we had human trials uh, brave individuals who were um, one lady was is a haven't heard much yet from her but perhaps we will know in a minute I just need to read something over she's a scientist but she's not a biologist she felt like she could do a bit for science by volunteering for a human trial for a vaccine. So, breaking news. Vaccine Ox Oxford trial is safe in uh, quotes and produces immune reaction. First study results show I said probably by August or late July we might get something because you know although it normally takes a lot longer than that to create a vaccine it was just the collaborated effort on the because you know <laughs> it was an important thing isn't it of course you know it doesn't we don't need to explain why with all the world's health professions, scientists, biologists and everything else working on one thing this is the thing about the pandemic uh, although there's some craziness and stupidity uh, shit hitting the fan uh, that exposed a lot of foolish people on the flip side, during the peak, particularly countries like, well, certainly the UK as well, people be started to become very nice. Going shopping, uh, being served. Hello, are you okay? Do you need help? And, uh, just general chattiness instead of just business as usual. people were you know so nice and they st still are at the moment you know just uh, genu some individuals are genuinely worried about it uh, seem to be other, other people's well being due to financial loss as well uh, this changed people's worldview a lot probably for the better instead of being overly selfish individuals that are the, it's all about them uh, suddenly it's all about a bigger picture what can they do perhaps I don't know uh, but then there's always going to be those individuals who will never change no matter what happens they're always going to be unfortunately they're going to be individuals who just will never do anything for the betterment of the world and other people they're just going to be in the way all the time <coughs> you know and like i said previously about people leaving their shit on the road for other people to clean up there's always going to be people like that anyway hopefully a majority uh, are 
are better people for certain, for multiple reasons within the experience of all this. So let me read. Um, so the vaccine candidate being developed by AstraZeneca and Oxford University induces a strong immune response and appears to be safe according to preliminary preliminary trial results the early stage trial which involved 1077 people has found the vaccine trains the immune system to produce antibodies and white blood cells capable of fighting the virus. It also causes a few side effects. Here we go. Let's have a look. Professor Sarah Gilbert, co-author and Oxford University study, described the findings as, as promising, but there is still much work to be done before we can confirm our if our vaccine will help manage the COVID-19 pandemic. The results came as the UK secured 90 million doses of other promising COVID-19 vaccines while clinical trials of a new inhaled viral, um, treatment showed it significantly reduced the number of hospitalized patients needing intensive care. This is good news. This is uh, particularly things that you can inhale. Uh, I think that's, this is wonderful news. It's progress, definitely. Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister, said the results were very positive as he congratulated the team of scientists work on the vaccine. Uh, he tweeted, there are no guarantees. We are not there yet and further trials will be necessary but this is an important step in the right direction of course uh, he said on Twitter that Mr Hancock the uh, British Health Sec Secretary also told MPs the virus was on the back foot Uh, in Britain as the number of cases and hospitalized hospital admissions continue to fall in research published on Monday in the journal Lancet scientists said the vaccine produced a dual immune response in people age 18 to 55 provoking a t-cell response within 14 days a vaccine vaccination and an antibody response after 28 days hmm More trials will need to be conducted to establish how long these T-cells last within the body and it's also unclear whether the vaccine can prevent people from falling ill or lessen the symptoms of COVID-19. It sounds like it does, but it's, um, of course they you know, the can't, you know, if you're not too sure, they can't say, hey, take this, this is a cure. Yeah. Uh, gotta be <laughs> something like this gotta be proven scientifically it has to be factual right we can't assume too much but this is great news researchers said the vaccine caused minor 
uh, side effects more frequently than a control group but some of these could be reduced by taking paracetamol with no serious opioids events from the vaccine what are the side effects I've painted that a couple of times now let's have a look data included in the paper covered the first 56 days of the trial and is ongoing phase two or three trials evaluating the vaccine effectiveness have been expanded beyond the UK to South Africa Brazil and the United States yeah the United States need help because uh, I don't see when you have people in power like Donald Trump I uh, don't see him communicating well with scientific um, advisors and things like that uh, some people say yeah he did listen and he did everything he could but the things he blurts out are just stupidity uh, if you don't know something too well you <laughs> when you're the president a prime prime minister president or well, president in the case of you in United States just shut up and let things progress do what you're told you can save lives regardless this is the point where we're at anyway uh, so you know the UK is one of the one of the worst hit it's also now leading in one of the best um, to mitigate the pandemic our numbers are just dropping all the time now and people will get emotional and think we're not doing too well uh, out of fear because they hear about spikes here and there and stores being shut down because there's a little spike here and there it's I mean a few hundred maybe uh, compared to what, 50 oh, I don't know what the numbers were that they were in the thousands like 20,000 something or other uh, UK population I think is something like 63 million um, probably more the last time I looked probably a lot more than that now anyway um, regardless you know I, I see I'm impressed with the majority again there's uh, some idiots uh, but the majority seem to be doing their due diligence but when people go to a beach on a crowded beach and you know, it's stupid but people, a number of those people who probably went to you know during when it was kind still kind of dangerous to uh, a number of those people probably went chilled out on the beach and before they knew it it was really crowded and they left and that does show up when you see media asking people questions like what are you doing today uh, it's oh you won't come again because a number of people aren't doing their due diligence but to a point everyone gets the same idea oh I'll go and do this because it it's going to be quiet in that area or I'll go shopping later because uh, the rush hour will be gone before you know it everyone gets the same idea and the rush hour ends up being the quiet time and the quiet time ends up being the rush hour 
I found that and I thought about that because uh, it's typical human nature and I found I, I went shopping during the peak during what would have been rush hour and it was really quiet uh, deliberately so I thought well everyone's going to get the same idea right and you start to think oh a bit crowded <laughs> Because, you know, you might think people aren't doing the due diligence. You know, you start to panic a bit. And emotion was high. Uh, my anxiety was going through the roof, actually. During this, just the numbers just kept going higher and higher and higher. And I'd known individuals who got this. Uh, they are okay, they survived, but... <laughs> Eww. It was a little bit scary for a while, and you just got to chip in with the logical thinking and look, okay, what are the chances of me as an individual doing my due diligence and catching it? Just stay calm, do the right thing. So let's read on a bit more anyway. Uh, just recap there. Phase two. Uh, three trials evacuating, sorry, evaluating the vaccine's effectiveness have been expanded beyond the UK to South Africa, Brazil and the United States where infection rates are still high to lay researchers to access wherever it can be, sorry, wherever it can block or limit transmission among large populations as well as continuing to test our vaccine in phase three trials we need to learn more about the virus for example we still do not know how strong an immune response we need to provoke uh, to effectively protect against SARS-CoV-2 infection. One of the problems with people getting adverse effects from the virus actually is a too, too much of an aggressive immune response as well. It, over, it overly does it. Uh, this is well, what well, causes fluid to build up in your lungs while it's attacking the virus. Fluid, extra fluid is causing extra bacteria to grow within the fluid. It's knock on effect from that is lower lung capacity and you, you get a secondary infection in a way. So. Which is ironic, you know, it's, it's, this is how viruses work. People think, oh, you, could, you die from the virus itself, technically. I mean, you could say that. You die from the side effects. And the side effects are causing other things that are not from the virus itself. You know, that extra fluid causing more bacterial Material growth in your lungs, so you get that um, problem as well. Well, not to mention some of the effects of the extreme body pains, muscle pains. Um, it's been known to cause blood clotting as well. So this is just not a good virus at all. It's just what what virus is good, but you know, this is nasty. Studies. Uh, the study's authors have also noted that more research is needed to confirm the findings in different groups of people, including older age groups, those with other health conditions, and in ethically and geographically diverse populations. Vaccine called AZD122. Two <laughs> is made from 
a genetically engineered virus that causes the common cold in chimpanzees. It has been weakened to ensure that it does not trigger any disease in humans and is modified to express the spike protein seen in the car SARS-CoV-2. The tool used by the virus to invade human cells. Yeah, that's the <coughs> ACE2 uh, protein on the surface of um, on the surface of your cells. Oxford University has partnered with Astro Venka or Venaka. Was that Astro Ven Eka? I think it pronounced it that way. To produce the vaccine globally within the pharmaceutical giant already committed to making 2 billion doses. UK has ordered 100 million doses <clears throat> uh, of the vaccine while a number of other UK governments around the world including the United States and France and Germany have entered into supply deals with the company should the candidate prove effective and gain regulatory approval. There's a lot more here reading on. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, might pick bits out. This is good news for the UK. Uh, I don't know what's happening in other countries. I did see a report earlier, uh, about a few weeks ago, about the UK having this big deal with a company, and the company supposedly was in America, and the headline was kind of derogative but not really going into details uh, uh, the you know, uh, article on the internet uh, trying to read kind of like conspiratorially in some ways not really claim anything too much but then you, you know we're saying like now the UK is going to handle the virus as, as, as good as the United States I don't think the United States has handled it very well at all um, me but that's why companies are outsourcing land of opportunity. Yeah, you start up and do something great, but then you, they start to outsource their customer base. Particularly with things like this, if you've got leaders who just will not listen to sense and sensibility and reason, in my personal opinion. Um... Yeah, the next network, uh, no, the next web.com, that's where the article was. United States surveillance company Plantier and now it's 1 million UK COVID 19 contract. Okay, uh, yeah, that was the way they read, they, they put that out is kind of conspiratorial. Yeah. But then I don't know too much about. Plant, uh, Palantir. Why do these companies have such weird names? Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at that at the moment. I know that there's so much going on. And, you know, this is great. This is good news. And, you know, like I said, no one has put more money into creating a vaccine than the UK. And we've been able to do that via not just our own resources, but you 
this is where across the globe people collaborate particularly across Europe I think is that there's a lot of collaboration more so than there would be in other countries um, and collaborations with certain companies in America yeah that's all I got to say for now anyway um, I'll be probably finishing off some of the article for uh, what I've mentioned uh, replacement for plastics um, that article will be expanded over time for other things that come like I probably do sometimes with other articles anyway you know I know we do we haven't got anything in the pipeline yet for the others not just yet um, and uh, probably be a short video on the SR7 too that'll be on the exploratory mines project channel as well so this is just an update well, here's a mess I've just gone up actually heard this news sat here and just <laughs> did a video thanks for watching have a great day and I look forward to doing another video soon cheers bye